Okay, here we are, day two of the motor being out of the Mustang. I uh, went ahead and just unbolted the bell housing from the block. Uh, you can kind of see here. Got some torque converter action going, some flex plate action going. Super simple to unbolt. I thought these bolts were going to be pretty stuck. They weren't. Um, I also found out, I'll do a previous post, or maybe I'll include it all in this one. I found out that this trans is a, um, my buddy Tyler pointed out, it's an FMX tranny, which means it's a little stronger than the C4, which is a score. And then I also found out, uh, you can see that little spot there, that square, there was a sticker. So when I pulled the sticker off of there, there was a label. I was able to scratch all the paint off the label and found out that it was a, it's a rebuilt transmission that's been dyno tested by Accurate Transmissions. So I started looking them up online and then I uh, kind of hit a dead end. I tried calling their phone number and, and uh, no answer on the phone. So, well that's a good thing. At least I know it's been rebuilt and it's not 30 years old. So that's a good sign. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue the uh, tear down of this. I want to try to get this motor on the stand today if possible. Um, looks like I got the next task of pulling the converter and the flywheel off of here to access the area where I can bolt the actual block up to the stand. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going on this and then I'll kick an update out in a minute. Just one more shot of the uh, torque converter on the block before I go ahead and pull it. Okay, torque converter is off the flex plate. Boom. Now, tools for the job. No. Don't try it, don't waste your time. As soon as you actually get the wrench on there and pull to try to loosen, full motor wants to turn. So, then you're left with the uh, problem of trying to stop the motor from turning while you loosen the bolts. So, false. Get yourself one of these. <laughs> Nothing better, guys. It's the only way to do it. Okay. If you don't believe me about what I just said a second ago, don't even try to undo that without an impact wrench. I had to crank this beast up at 90 PSI, have it just sit in a 90 PSI to break each bolt loose. Compressor regenerated the impact wrench. Boom, another 90 PSI. There's no way you're going to break those loose and try to hold the engine from turning. No way at all. So if you get to this point, you don't have an impact gun. I don't know what to tell you. But flex plate's off. There she is, along with the torque converter. So now, uh, my next step is to assemble the engine stand and get this bad boy onto the engine stand so we can finish the tear down of the motor. Okay, here's the engine stand. Now we get to get, put it together. One, two, three. Okay. Kaboom, done. This is the uh, Harbor Freight budget engine stand. Good enough for my motor. Seems pretty sturdy. No problems at all going together except for this freaking bolt down there at the bottom. Threads aren't, weren't exactly lined up, that's all. But simple. Now, it's time to put that on there. Okay, we're on the shop crane. We got our hub mounted to the motor for secure attachment to the stand. So I'm gonna go ahead and swivel this bad boy over and hook it up. Oh man, easy breezy. No big deal at all. Well, got the small block mounted up to the engine stand. This is a milestone. A lot of work it took to get here. A lot of work. But, well worth it. The stand is nice. There's no flex at all when I let the tension off the jack. Uh, no bending or anything like that. It rolls around nicely on the tile, so I think I'm in business here for a nice solid uh, area to work on this motor now. So, yep. Take a good look at it, guys. This is it. Soon we'll start tearing it down and getting it out to the machine shop for uh, an inspection and uh, hopefully a, uh, a fresh uh, machine job and back into the garage start using it for the power plant build up all right well i hope you enjoyed this little video and i'll hit up another update soon